everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Last week, I told you about a new blood test that could eventually lead to early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. This week, I have two even more exciting stories about potential treatments for this frightful affliction. First, researchers at the University of Texas Medical Branch have published a study in the Journal of Neuroscience about a newly developed immunotherapy treatment that can reverse memory problems resulting from Alzheimer's disease with a single dose. The therapy targets tau oligomers, which are tau proteins that have been corrupted by Alzheimer's and which block nutrients from being carried to and waste carried from brain cells. The immunotherapy treatment targeting tau oligomers was tested in a mouse model of Alzheimer's. It was shown to reduce levels of not only tau oligomers, but also amyloid beta, the main component of the plaques that form in the brains of those afflicted with Alzheimer's. Obviously, this treatment is still in the very early stages of testing, but if these results hold up, this could be very, very good news. Next up, yet more good news on the Alzheimer's front as an international team of scientists is testing a new class of drugs that could treat not only Alzheimer's, but dozens of other conditions as well. The team, comprised of scientists at 18 research groups, is testing a group of compounds called molecular tweezers. These compounds are designed to attack aggregated proteins proteins that form clumps, blockages, plaques, etc., that are major factors in Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, ALS, cancer, and many other diseases. CLR01, one of the most promising of the molecular tweezers, was found to be safe and effective in animal models of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, spinal cord injury, and familial amyloidotic polyneuropathy, a rare disease that affects the heart, kidneys, and nervous system. The findings in the molecular tweezers study were presented over the weekend at the Experimental Biology Meeting in Boston. And finally, some cool news for Star Wars fans. Planets like Tatooine may very well be commonplace in our galaxy. Tatooine, of course, is the home planet of Luke Skywalker. Its two defining attributes are arguably its desert climate and its spectacular twin suns. This was a problem for Star Wars fans who valued scientific accuracy, if there are any of those, because so far the only planets confirmed to exist in binary star systems have been gas giants, not smaller terrestrial worlds like Tatooine. Now, a new study by astrophysicists from the University of Utah and the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory proposes that terrestrial planets should form just as easily in binary star systems as in single star systems, provided the planets are far enough away from the stars. Such planets could also have orbits around their binary stars just as stable as Earth's orbit around the Sun. So there you go. Tatooine is plausible. Thanks, scientists. Now get back to work on those lightsabers. A pair of promising breakthroughs in the treatment of Alzheimer's and dozens of other diseases, and a study that suggests that terrestrial planets orbiting twin suns do exist, just like in that Star Wars movie. That's the good news. I know, right? It sure is. You don't even care about astronomy when it has to do with Star Wars.